Okay, so this is important. It's okay to be messy. It's okay to have a ridiculously messy day. It's okay to have a day where you don't shower. It's okay to have a day where you don't brush your teeth or brush your hair. It's okay to have a day when you just stay in your bathrobe all day long and move from the couch to the chair to your bed, back to the couch, have something to eat or not. It's okay because eventually that messy day is going to lead you to something much more productive. Remember, when I make these videos, they are for you, but it's also me working through being where I am in life. So I'm talking to you and you'll find benefit in what I'm saying, maybe, but this is also for myself. I had a really super messy day yesterday. And if you've been watching for a while, you know that I am trying to uh, weave my way through um, autistic burnout. And it's been hard. It was even hard for me to recognize that I was in it. But in uh, January, after my son left for college, uh, like everything came crashing down. And I realized how unreasonably exhausted I was. And in that exhaustion, I started to realize how much I had been pushing myself for all of the years of his childhood. Excuse me a second, I have a hummingbird and a squirrel keeping my eyes busy right at this moment. They're both up in a tree. Okay, I just wanted to savor that. And it's interesting that the hummingbird and the squirrel showed up just now as they did, because that's part of what I'm talking about, <laughs> is slowing down like it's okay to slow down. And when he left for college and I realized how fast I had been going, how fast I had been, you know, working and problem solving and parenting and not literally fast, but the fast pace at which you end up doing those things, I realized how much harm I had done to my body and my mind. And although for a good cause, like, yeah, I'm, I'm parenting and I'm working and I'm making a living and providing a home for my child. When you're doing that through a neurodivergent lens, it's hard. And when you're doing it through that lens, not knowing that you've been doing it neurodivergently your whole life, there's a whole like process of understanding and kind of like reawakening that you go through, that I went through. Anyway, it was after the summer that I realized how completely burnt out I was. And that's when the new school year started. <laughs> and so I didn't have the time to like, um, I didn't have the time to slow down. I didn't have the time to stay in that slow, relaxed state because I needed to pick myself up and get back to work. So here we are now, it's the middle of October and um, I've been figuring out all the ways that I can take better care of myself and kind of reevaluate what it looks like, what the care and feeding of me looks like. And I'm sharing this with you because you might need to do the same thing for you once in a while. You might need to reevaluate what care looks like for you, whether or not you're neurodivergent, whether or not you're in your mid fifties, you might be at a place in your life in your twenties or thirties or forties or eighties <laughs> where the way that you chose to care for yourself 
doesn't work anymore. You need to do something differently. So what I'm going to do differently, what I've decided to do differently is to take some pressure off me. So for example, right now I'm taking a walk, but the walk isn't, um, it's not so that I get my steps in and it's not uh, to get my heart rate up. Hi. And it's not for any reason other than just to take care of doing the things that I need to do to take care of myself each day. I was just walking by some people in the neighborhood and I think they thought that I was filming them. Um, <laughs> but obviously I'm not. I'm filming myself talking to you. So uh, they were looking at me a little concerned. But that's neither here nor there. Back to this walk. I'm taking this walk this morning just because sunshine is good for me. Getting sun in your eyes in the morning is good for circadian rhythms, but more so it's the cumulative effect, right? So this is an activity that is good for me anyway. This is one of those back to basics, back to nature, back to our natural state of being. This is one of those kind of activities that we've always done and we should always do. So this walk for me, I'm not categorizing it as exercise. Oh, I better get my walk in today because that's stressful. And if I don't, there's a whole series of like mental and emotional head games that go with not having walked. So I change the narrative and this walk for me is just to do something. <laughs> it's just to do something natural and normal to help bring me back to that state of like ease and peace that I need to be in and that I've gotten myself far away from. And so I did have that messy day yesterday and I was really feeling like that was it. Like I felt like I had hit the a really low point, but yesterday I wasn't feeling like I was going to get up out of that low point. I felt like I was going to be there for a while. Good morning. Hi. And I knew that I knew that if my burnout was getting deeper and I was feeling more burned out, I knew that there were things that I could do to take care of myself, but I just didn't feel like doing any of them. So instead of like, instead of beating myself up yesterday for Sorry, I'm really distracted. I'm walking through a neighborhood where a lot of people start decorating for Halloween and there are a little few spooky little things in the bushes and the brush and the trees in front of people's houses. Um, sorry, what was I saying? I knew that if I was going to be in burnout yesterday that I didn't want to beat myself up for it. I just wanted to allow it. So... I consciously allowed myself to stay there yesterday and I didn't take particularly particularly good care of myself. I, um, I, my hair is filthy, like it really needs to be washed. <laughs> I just wore a hat all day. Um, I didn't brush my teeth yesterday. Ew, I know some of you are like, you know, germaphobes, and that's fine. You can be that way. I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't around any people who cared. And one day isn't going to harm me. I didn't get out of my bathrobe yesterday. I went out for a walk in the morning. I went to the park. 
and I made a video of something I wanted to talk about. But then that was it. That was all I had the capacity to do. But I had to allow that to be okay because pushing myself more and again and harder wasn't going to have a beneficial effect for me. I knew that. Okay, so let me come back around. I woke up this morning at about six o'clock on a Sunday. Um, and the first thought in my mind was, it's the weekend. I should be sleeping longer than that because I have the opportunity to. But then the immediate next thought in my mind was, well, wait, my body woke up now and it's not the middle of the night, it's the morning. There's nothing wrong with being awake now. So I sat up and then all of a sudden, all of these like very productive thoughts kind of downloaded into my brain, kind of literally just like the way you would see a screen uh, before we had like instant Wi-Fi, the way you would see a screen download information, it was just one after the other, after the other. And what I saw was that I I feel like not that I'm out of burnout, but I I saw the path and I saw a plan. Oh somebody is using their fireplace. I don't know if you can see there. Somebody's using their fireplace and that makes me so happy because it's definitely the season for that. It's a cool morning. Um, so when I saw those, the plan download, I was so grateful. Well, let's stop real quick at the neighborhood library and see if there's anything here that is of interest. Hmm. Any books? I like Jennifer Weiner. She writes really good books. I've read Life of Pi. I don't need to read that. Uh, I don't have my glasses and I can't really see the other ones all that well. But on my way back, maybe I'll take a look. So one of the things that I decided or that I saw was that I don't need to do all of the things right now. I understood that it's okay if I just, it's okay if I just do a little bit at a time. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, duh. Yeah, I mean, that's what we do. We do a little bit at a time. Well, you're not me and you're not in my brain. And the way my brain sees the world is, get it all done before you can fill in the blank. And that's the way that I've been doing my life for a long time. I don't know why, I just know that it is. But back to the plan, because I'm so excited about it. So I got up and I looked around my room and I saw that in my room, I've really let it go. All of the spaces that I've enjoyed being in in the morning. Um, sorry, I'm on a busier road now. I really let them go. I have a beautiful desk that faces the yard with all the trees and the birds, and it's piled with all sorts of crap right now. Stuff that doesn't even belong on a desk. Um, the chair has the stuff on it that you would put on a chair <laughs> in a bedroom, like clothes and magazines. And I have tote bags filled with stuff all around the place because when I get home from work often, I am too tired to unpack my bag and reorganize it. And then the next day I just grab another one. So just imagine, right now I'm not interested in sharing the look of my master bedroom with you, but 
point being, I decided that I am just going to get up one morning and change my morning routine. Because I do wake up early every morning. I wake up at five and I give myself a good hour and a half of me time um, before I have to leave for work. But my me time has been crocheting or reading or watching videos. And if I have an hour and a half of me time, that's three 30 minute segments. I can do a lot with that. So I decided that each morning I'm going to handle a different area of my room until it's done for however long I'm interested in. Since I'm very low maintenance human being, I'm not interested in having fancy hair or putting on fancy makeup. I just kind of wash up, throw on my clothes and go. I don't need to spend any time doing that on my way to work in the morning. So I'm going to start by cleaning off my desk and getting my desk back to the space that I love it being, which is clear with a candle and my light and my iPad and a book and a journal. Maybe a plant. And every morning I'm going to open my windows and light a candle and listen to the birds from my window until it's light. And then if there's enough time before work, I'll take a quick walk, but it's still been dark in the morning, so I haven't been able to do that right now. And then once my room is done, once my desk area is done, then I'll move downstairs into the rest of the house. The rest of the house has turned into a complete disaster. Uh, my family has always depended on me to be the one to keep order and cleanliness. And when I relax the routine, so do they. And they do it with great joy that they're not being held to any standard of cleanliness. So, sadly, although I've asked for help, they haven't been so good at keeping things up for me. So I'm going to go down and do my dining table one morning, do the kitchen table another morning, and I'm going to continue to do one area of the house in the morning before I go to work when it's quiet and peaceful. Hold on, there's a fire truck driving by. my house is all put back together. Now, if at any point in time while I'm doing this, I start feeling the onset of burnout again, this time I'm not going to push through it. This time, this time I'm going to stop. I'm going to allow myself the opportunity to stop and not work harder than I'm able to do. Because now I know what got me into this state and I know what I need. And the only, the only measure of success for myself is going to be how I feel. It's not going to be somebody else's to-do list. It's not going to be the suggestion of an influencer. It's not going to be what the USDA or the government says is the right amount of exercise or anything. It's going to be what feels right for me. So, to wrap this up, do what's right for you. Do it the way you need to do it. Do it because you want to do it. Do it in the way that you want to do it. Don't do it the way that anybody tells you is the right way. Because you are you. You were put on this earth.
to live your life, do it your way. Thanks for taking a walk with me. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye.